welcome to Beyond Film School, where I tell you all about the film industry. I'm Amber, and in this video, I'm talking directly to my beginner filmmakers out there about my script writing secrets to make sure your film actually can get made. There are so many people out there with film dreams, like becoming directors, producers, showrunners, writers, all that stuff. But I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. Well, actually, a lot of secrets, because that's why you're watching this video. Duh. <laughs> your big film dreams start with your little projects. I'm talking those little crappy short films, little weird documentaries, maybe you made up a mock-up commercial, even wedding videos. Really, anything that's gonna get you writing, shooting, editing, and getting you to that final piece of art. And all of that, films, commercials, music videos, TV shows, all of it, starts with writing. If you don't have a script, you ain't making shit. There are so many scripts out there just collecting dust that were never even close to getting made. So let's jump right into how to prevent your first script or your little idea baby from being dead in the water. This secret is huge and is not said enough. Write what you know. When you do this, there's such an authenticity and sincerity that you can feel from those projects, from those scripts, from those films that comes across so strongly. There's nothing worse than watching something that's written by a guy that has a female lead and a female-driven story. I'm sorry, but if a guy has never led a female life, how can he write that story accurately in, in a female point of view? There is no way he can write an accurate depiction of what a woman might be thinking, how she might react in the world around her. Same thing goes for race, class, and sexual orientation. I'm a poor white city girl, and there's no way I can write a very genuine, sincere depiction of living the life as a one percenter. And I've also seen that done many times. And I have a quick tip for you. If you are compelled to write a character that is opposite you, or definitely just not you at all, then find that person in your life, or someone for God's sake, that matches that character and consult them. And consult them a lot. Ask them questions like, Is that what you would do in that scenario? Is this what you might say? The number one way to make sure your script can actually get shot is to write within the parameters of the resources you already have. This may feel a little restrictive, but this also can be a catalyst to do something more creative. So this means don't write a scene in your script that involves shooting in a hospital when you don't have access to one in the first place. If you have two friends that want to act, then write a scene or write a movie that involves two characters. This is a no-brainer, folks, a no-brainer. Don't write something that involves seven characters because if you have just two people, maybe you have right away that want to act, you got a cast and that takes time and a lot of money and you run the risk of not getting it done. Casting sucks. It's a really grueling process. Three is super challenging for so many. Start small and start practical. Listen, filmmaking is hard and even the simple kind of stuff that you would shoot is very challenging. Learn the process first and then start adding in those complicated elements. For example, your first script should not be a full length feature involving car chases, gunfire, and fights. Don't write a scene that involves 150 background actors. Like, what? or write anything that involves a huge camera package. I'm sure you don't have $30,000 just laying around for this huge camera package you wanna rent. Another quick tip for you is that you can honestly shoot your first short film on a phone, even like your iPhone, your Pixel, your Android, whatever it is, like you can shoot your first project on your phone. And I'm talking like, like this, like, you know, like just, like this, not with like the crazy rig I'm sure you've seen where it's like 50 lenses on this, I would literally just go like this. With th this phone, use th just that, just this, that's it. No bells and whistles, just literally just do this. You can, first short film, film camera right here. My next one's pretty cut and dry. Learn story structure. Look into the hero's journey. Read books, watch videos, all about how to write a good story. This book by Robert McKee is a great one. His book, Story Principles of Screenwriting is a really, really good place to start. In a little hint, it's all about the challenges. Links to that book will be below for you. 
For my next secret, save that money. To actually start writing and typing out your scripts, get those free script writing programs. One of them is Arc Studio, but you know, the drawback to that is when you export it, it has a watermark on it, which is not that bad. My next one is Studio Binder. And my next one, I hope I'm saying it right, Kit Scenarist. Look into all those, check out which one, but those were the free ones that I found. And there's also low cost ones. Final Draft is very, very expensive. It's a few hundred dollars. And I know some of you ain't got that type of money. I understand, I have been there. Look into those, all those links will be below for you. Final Draft is industry standard, but who cares about that? Because you know, you're writing your first thing, as long as you're getting your format right, it doesn't matter what program you use. Which leads me right into my next secret. Understand your script writing format. And to do this, what better way than to start reading scripts? Go to simplyscripts.com. You can look for your favorite movie and you can download the script or sometimes they just have like another page you go to that will open up the script for you and you can read one of your favorite movies in script format. It's amazing. And just to reiterate, all the things I'm mentioning in this video are not sponsored. These are things that are just totally helpful. I wish I was sponsored, but we're not at that yet. We're not there yet with Beyond Film School. None of this is sponsored, so I will leave the link to simplyscripts.com down below for you. My next one is probably the most difficult one to do as a writer. Start writing and let yourself write that crappy, very, very horrible first draft. No, no, it's a horrendous piece of shit. Make it your goal to make it really bad. Make it as horrible as possible because your script really honestly comes to life in the rewrites. So grab that chair and get comfy with those rewrites, folks. Also, a little reminder that rewrites happen all the way up until shooting. You could have done a private rehearsal of the script you had this morning and then all of a sudden an actor mentions something and then you're like, oh my God, that works so much better. As you're shooting it, sometimes things get rewritten like on the day when you're rolling and it's crazy, but just know rewrites happen all the way until you call cut. Number eight, this is 100% needed and it definitely shouldn't be a secret. Have people read your scripts. For the love of God, this is the only way that you are gonna get better drafts. Remember, you're writing a script to then be shot and to be viewed by an audience. The perspective of the script matters and the opinion of the reader matters. So get rid of your pride and ego and take their feedback seriously. If you're writing a script that no one gets. No one gets it, no one gets what I'm trying to write. Well, there's a reason why they're not getting it. Go back to it and figure out what they're not getting. For one of my last secrets of script writing, some of you will completely disagree and will want to fight me. But you know what? I am ready. I'm ready for those comments. Do not, I repeat, do not try your big idea for one of your first projects. Please do not write your huge big idea, the one thing that you're like really want to make one day. Don't do that as one of the first things you make, please. Wait, wait, what? As someone who creates and works in film, I know what it's like to want to tell your story, have an idea in your head, in your heart for, for weeks, days, months, years, hell, decades. But if you are a beginner in filmmaking and script writing, save that big idea for a little while, just for a bit. Hone your skills and save that beautiful idea until you can execute it amazingly. Please, I implore you, please. Remember, start small. Being a filmmaker is a lifelong journey. Your growth as an artist in film is gradual. And this is probably the biggest secret of all is that it takes time. It takes time, dedication, and persistence. There is no instant gratification when it comes to film. I'm sorry, but there isn't. This is not a, there's no easy route. There is no quick fix. There's no easy way to go about making a really great film. And if you're looking for that, then the film industry is not for you. But if you watched this whole video and you made it to this point, then maybe I'm talking to the right people here. Let me know in the comments what secret hit home for you. Like maybe you knew you should do these things and you probably wanted to, and maybe you just haven't yet. I hope these script writing secrets were helpful. And if they were, give that like button a hit. And while you're at it, please subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay up to date on all the videos I make on the film industry. If you're looking for more film career resources, please hit up my website at beyondfilmschool.com. And if you want to know what I'm up to on set, hit up my Instagram 
Instagram at Beyond Film School. Thank you so much for watching. That is it for now, and I shall see you next time.